Welcome to The Script Mistress, a captivating journey into the realm of screenwriting. In this episode, we delve further into the 12 character archetypes. Sorry, we are almost done. We're in the last three. Today, we're going to be shining the spotlight on the rebel or outlaw, as it's also known. I'm your enthusiastic host, Amber Bosworth, and I'm thrilled to share this exhilarating installment with you. To keep yourself informed about podcast events and challenges, make sure to get on my mailing list at thescriptmistress.com. Additionally, you can find this entire episode on video at thescriptmistress.com forward slash scene 36. Yes, we're already on 36, where you'll also discover a delightful free download waiting for you on that page that kind of goes along with this character archetype series. I've also launched the Script Mistress YouTube channel. Hopefully, maybe you're watching there as well, where you can access all of these episodes. And I have the link of that in the show notes on the podcast here and on the website. As I diligently work on the entries for the recent Ink to Screen Screenwriting Challenge, I invite you to explore the exciting July challenge, which is starting very soon. Registration is now open and participants have five days to write a brand new five-page screenplay based on a prompt given on the first day of the challenge. The winner will receive $150 and every writer who submits a completed script will receive detailed feedback. All this is included in just with a $15 entry fee. You can discover more on this on the scriptmistress.com forward slash ink to screen. Now the July challenge will take place from July 19th to July 23rd, shortly after the announcement of the June finalists and the winner on July 17th of the June challenge. Don't miss miss out, sign up now. I like that as well. You guys don't have to wait very long for the results. I turn it right around before the next challenge so that you know. In case you need a refresher, I'm going to go back over the 12 character archetypes from Carl Jung's world. We did the warrior, the child, the orphan, the creator, the caregiver, the mentor, the joker, the magician, the ruler, and now the rebel, the lover, the seducer. Ah, we're right into the final stretch here. Now, life's not fair and the rebel is sick of it. They won't settle for the average day. Not when they think they deserve more. Rebels like people, but that doesn't mean they're the first choice to lead. Still, people follow someone who wants to shake the world up. Sometimes rebels do turn into good leaders. The strengths of the, the rebel, they never give up, can inspire the masses, know how to get a lot out of a little. The weaknesses of the rebel, frequently low on the totem pole, has to earn what they get the hard way. They have no power and no clear way forward. Their motivation, the rebel's motivation, the world sucks, so let's change it. <laughs> Character archetype examples, Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games, Ferris Bueller, Phoebe from Friends. Yeah, think about it. Just think about that one. The Rebel or Outlaw might be one of the most beloved character archetypes. With their devil-may-care attitude, they are the motorcycle riding, leather jacket wearing, punk rock playing misfits we all love. They seek to bring down order, defy authority, and live in their own principles. Think Robin Hood, Captain Jack Sparrows, or Ferris Bueller. These famous rebels refused to be hemmed in by anyone's expectations. The rebel exists in opposition to the ruler, which was last week, who seeks to build rather than dismantle order. Therefore, they often they're, they're often a favorite in storytelling because they really let you push the boundaries of your story. Just tell me you haven't fallen for the dark brooding rebel who doesn't take anyone's crap and I'll call you a liar. <laughs> Nicely, of course. So in this episode, we'll talk more about the rebel archetype, how they serve your story, what the typical characteristics are, and some of the examples of where you'll find them in popular culture. So the rebel archetype, everything you need to know. So what is the rebel archetype? 
in a word, the rebel is there to disrupt the natural order of the world. And again, the world of what you've created, what you've written. Rebels can follow positive character arcs or negative ones. With a positive arc, they serve as activists, revolutionaries, or visionaries who seek to battle oppressive forces. Mostly, they act out of a desire to serve those around them. If they benefit in the exchange too, all the better. Now, conversely, in negative arcs, they act as radicals or criminals where the desires take precedence. They take a dogmatic approach and use morally questionable methods of incursion. It's not uncommon for an upstanding outlaw to decline into moral dubiousness along the way to achieving their goals. What do rebel archetypes do? There are several ways you can use the rebel archetype to drive your story. They might play the role of the outlaw who pushes against convention and oppression to bring about social change. Their tactics can result in revolutions and reawakenings of the society and world they live in. Rebels usually follow a positive character arc. Now, radicals, on the other hand, can succumb to anger and negativity derived from their sense of dissatisfaction. Think again back to the, the weaknesses of the rebel. How you choose to define these, though, is entirely up to you. The rebel also closely aligns with a gambler subtype who is all about risk and reward. No stakes are too high for this character. That's why they're so fun. <laughs> and they'll bet everything for the chance to win it all. In addition, your character can also embody the characteristics of the maverick, whose independence, fearlessness, and sometimes aggression can bring about radical change. Your rebel archetype could also include the activist. This is the sort of character who channels civil unrest, protests, and public acts of defiance to attract the notice of the establishment and inspire those around them. Now, this aligns with the reformer who works in similar ways, but through quieter means, such as acting as the whistleblower or advocating through traditional channels like running for polit political office. And we all know what happens to politicians who mean well when they embark on their careers, don't we? <laughs> Now, rebels tend to operate in the extremes, falling either on the good or bad side of the rules. Consider softening their edges by combining them with other archetypes in surprising ways, like the rebel jester, anyone? Maybe not. <laughs> now, the rebel archetype. What are rebel, what are typical rebel archetype characteristics? Now, we've talked a bit about what the rebel represents and how they can serve your story. Here we go a little deeper into the character traits you might find in a rebel character. They might feel alienated, disillusioned, repressed, oppressed, but they're driven by the desire to seek change, a need to shake up societal norms, the desire to seek revenge or retribution. Now, character traits of rebels include bold, candid, controversial, polarizing, fearless, arrogant, dominant, unapologetic, idealistic, inspiring. Now, a rebel's fears and turnoffs include narrow-mindedness, as often determined by their own moral compass. Being silenced is a fear. Authority and rigid structures of power, being powerless. Now, examples of the rebel archetype in popular culture. Rebels abound in popular culture. And here are just a few examples to inspire your own writing. Katniss Everdeen, we mentioned, the renegade hero of the Hunger Games, is a classic rebel outlaw. She defied literally everyone and everything, overthrowing an oppressive regime for the betterment of all. Elle Woods from Legally Blonde is also a rebel. Yep, you read that right. You heard it right. You might, she might not wear the leather jacket, but that was entirely the point. 
she defied stereotypes due to her pink aesthetic and bubbly personality, proving that anyone can be a kick-ass lawyer and do it her own way. Flynn Ryder from Tangled is the rebel who loves being a rebel. (laughs) He relished in the uh, posters, even if they got the nose wrong and the notoriety of being the bad boy. In true Disney fashion, it got him the girl, and we can't argue with that tactic. (laughs) Now, you'll find more rebels and characters like William Wallace from Braveheart, Merida from Disney's Brave. Don't think we didn't notice the similarities in those titles. And the Dark Knight himself, Batman. The rebel is an ever important character that can endear your audience immediately. There's something about rooting for the underdog or the rebel that will always be appealing as they either reveal a part of who we are or wish we could be. We've all wanted to kind of rebel in some form or another, and being able to live that through a character is truly inspiring and amazing. Now, I did provide links to the resources where I got some of these um, articles, and you can click on those and read a little bit more. The writing action, the same for the past 12 weeks. Um, I've created the worksheet for these 12 character archetypes for any character you want to work on. Downlo- download the character er- archetype worksheet and fill it out for whichever archetype character you are working on. You can get it here at scriptmistress.com forward slash archetypes, or feel free to share some of your thoughts on the Facebook page, the Facebook Ink to Screen, our Facebook page, or email me at amber at the scriptmistress.com to get extra help. Now, don't forget about the monthly screenwriting challenge. July is open for, for registration. You could win $150 and get feedback on your writing all for $15. And I just... I'm really excited after I finish up this character archetype series, I really want to talk a little bit more about how inspiring and how important it is to do these um, monthly challenges as they help kind of inspire you and to put in the monetary value of $15 and get back something, whether you win the prize or not, is what truly inspires a lot of the writers that we have to write new forms of um, and in genres they never would have or stories they never really thought that they could write. So you can check it all out at the scriptmistress.com forward slash ink to screen. Thank you so much for listening or watching. I truly value any feedback. If you have an idea for a podcast that might help you, uh, you can email me at amber at the scriptmistress.com and I'll work it in there. Like and follow this show wherever you are listening. Talk soon. And until then, happy writing.